Hey guys, welcome back to Ship Talk and one, welcome back to another unboxing video. It is time for another mystery unboxing. This is for Funko Pop, of course. And this one is a repeat customer. I got them before and I decided to go with them again. They reached out to me and they're good guys. I'm sorry if you can hear Kat and He's being very uh, needy today. <laughs> What's up, pup pup? And, um, but Watchtower Collectibles, in case you guys haven't heard of them before, the Watchtower Comics and Collectibles is a veteran-owned business, which is great because I, myself, is, am a veteran. I did 10 years in the United States Navy. The name Watchtower plays homage to the Justice League and our deployment. So, congrats uh, on your business there, Watchtower. So this is a regular, you know, $8 box. I think paid about $14, $15 with shipping. Very reasonable. Matches up with, I just got a Shumi mystery box. We'll be doing that unboxing whenever I get that box, but very comparable company. So you can get a comment, or you can get a comment in here, which is probably most likely. You can get a, an exclusive, a chase, grail, I guess you could say. But there are four like top prizes. And the one I want really is the Star Wars number 18 Slave Leia. She's always hard to find. I was surprised that uh, Watchtower put this in his his box, his mystery box. But I'm happy that he did because I'm hoping, putting that good vibes, man. I'm putting that good vibes that it's in there. But um, there's also an Umbrella Academy chase, number five. I do like the Umbrella Academy. I like the show. I do like the comics. I haven't finished reading all the comics yet for the Umbrella Academy. But I, you know, can't wait. There's also, looks like, what is it? Freddy Funko as Toxic Rick. I'm not a Rick and Morty fan, so I'm really not hoping I get that. If I do, might be a giveaway that I do, or maybe, you know, I sell it. And the last but not least is uh, exclusive Marvel Collector's Corp Venom. I'm on the fence with that one. I love Venom. I don't know if I'll keep it, but don't know if I'll get one of the top four. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and, oops. <laughs> And see what we got. Um, <laughs> the box came good, no damage to, from the post office, which is always good because you never know what you're going to get. Let's cut around this. Just taking out the shipping label because it makes it a little bit harder to cut through. But, alright, guys. Didn't look in it, haven't seen what's in there. Not gonna show you because that was it. It's wrapped pretty well. It's got paper on the sides, bubble wrap. All right, still haven't seen it guys. Boom, what did I get? Did I get, oh crap, I did. I got one of the grails. <laughs> it's the Rick and Morty one that I just talked about. But, whoa, that is awesome though. This is the first time I've picked the top four out of the out of a mystery box. That is cool. <laughs> it glows in the dark. I might have to do a glow in the dark thing. But man, let me take it out of the pop. It is protected by a pop shield. That's always good to see. I do need to order some more pop protectors myself. So, wow, I got a top four hit, man. That is awesome. Thank you, Watchtower. You're my first one ever getting a top four hit. Oh, nice. We'll say there, there's a little crease up there, but you know, not too bad. Nothing really that will take detract, I think, from it. Besides that, the box looks pretty cool, pretty good. Put it up there for you guys. Yeah, so let's go to, you know, the Funko app and see what they're saying. Like I said, the box without shipping was what, $8, I think $8 and some change maybe. Shipping came around 15 bucks. Really, really not that much, you know. So that is always good. Holy crap. <laughs> 
This pop is worth $60, guys. Holy <laughs> crap. It's a box of fun. Oh, crap, I didn't realize it. It's a 3,000-piece exclusive. I might keep it just for the simple fact that it's a 3,000-piece exclusive. Wow. That is awesome. Um, like I said, I might keep it now. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm not a Rick and Morty fan. I'm sure I have some friends out there that are Rick and Morty fans, but man, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, I'm so excited, guys. You know, you know, guys, I specialize in collecting my, the Funko Pops that I like. Um, but just being able to hit some, one of the top fours from, you know, Watchtower is just great. They're great guys. They messaged me after my first box because I didn't seem too happy. I'm not acting, guys. This wasn't set up. I just want to be upfront and honest with you guys. I'm, you know, ecstatic because I did hit a top four. Just, you know, whenever you hit something big, it's always great, right? So, you know... <laughs> Um, yeah, I wish I hit that Slave Leia. They still have boxes available. I'm probably going to go and order me another box, maybe even two boxes, because I just want to try to get that Slave Leia, because I haven't heard of anybody's hit it yet. But that is awesome, guys. I can't believe I hit the top four from Watchtower. I'll put their link down below. They have Instagram. They have Facebook. They have a website. Make sure you go to them. Make sure you show them some love. Guys, it's, you know, it's a mystery box. You never know what you're going to get. Glad I got this one. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you at the next review.